Welcome to AEHelp.com's IELTS test preparation videos. You will now see Wang Young from China get a perfect band 9 for his performance on the speaking interview wearing a medical face mask and a transparent shield between him and the examiner. These days, the IELTS exam is done with a face mask and this shield in China and many other countries for your safety. However, this adds extra difficulty. But don't worry, after the interview, I will give you tips and strategies on how to get those high band scores even with the annoying face mask and shield. Again, for this lesson, we have partnered with Cambly, a world-class app that lets you connect with a native English speaking tutor anywhere, anytime, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Simply download the app and begin studying for success on your next exam. Cambly has given us this discount code for savings on one, three, and 12 month plans. With this code also in the video description, you get four months of free English studies when you sign up for the 12 month plan. And don't worry, Cambly will refund any unused minutes on three month and 12 month plans. As well, Cambly has a lesson challenge for you. The 10th person to correctly email us what word Wang Young uses to express a continuous flow of information will receive a code to get 60 minutes free one-on-one -on -one speaking practice with a Cambly professional. Simply send your answers to this email address also in the video description. Now watch and learn. Welcome to the speaking portion of the IELTS exam. My name is Adrian and I will be your examiner for this part of the test. And I'm going to record this for marking purposes. What is your full name? My full name is Wang Yang Li. But please just call me by my English nickname, Everett. Okay, Everett. Can you please hold up your identification to the glass? Sure. Thank you very much. Now, the speaking has three parts. I will give you instructions for each. For part one, I will ask you a couple of questions to get to know you better and some questions on a general topic. Where do you go to relax? In order to unwind, I like to play some video games on my phone or PS4 or just go for a walk um, at a park not too far from my place. And what did you do this morning? Mm, I woke up at 6 a.m. this morning. Um, I brushed my teeth and did a 30 minutes yoga. Um, and then I got ready for this exam and came here by public transit. Let's talk about animals and plants. What is your favorite animal? Um, I absolutely love panda bears because of their black and white patterns. Um, as well as uh, their playful nature. Um, in fact, I like to use Panda um, as an avatar on social media. Do you have a favorite flower? Um, yes, um, my favorite flower is rose, um, because not just, uh, not just because it is beautiful, but also it is a great gift to give on special occasions. Um, I like to buy rose, um, for my mom and my girlfriend. What kinds of animals do you usually see? Um, I usually see house pets, um, like cats and dogs around my neighborhood. Um, but I also see um, crows and finches um, at a certain time of the year. Where can you go to see animals? Um, the city zoo is a fantastic place to see animals. Uh, I absolutely love to go there to see pandas. Um, aside from that, there are also a lot of pet shops around the city uh, where I can see various kinds of little creatures um, like goldfish, um, guinea pigs, uh, hamster, um, parrots and rabbits. Where can you go to see plants and trees? Um, there is a national park um, not too far from my place, um, about 30 minutes drive. 
uh, I like to go there um, to see some greenery um, uh, and then uh, to see those beautiful plants. Especially when I'm feeling a bit stressed, uh, it is a good place um, to go to relax um, and then uh, to get some fresh air. Have you ever been lost in a forest? Um, luckily, no, I've never been lost in a forest. Um, but I have heard it is a terrible feeling um, to be turned around in the forest. And it's really easy to get panicked. Um, in fact, whenever I go on hikes um, or out into nature, I like to make sure uh, where I come from and then which directions I'm going. If you could go to see plants and animals anywhere in the world, where would you go? Mm, that's a bit tough question to answer because um, there are obviously many beautiful places in the world. Um, but if I can really go anywhere, I would likely to pick um, Central America, like uh, Costa Rica, um, where there is um, jungle um, full of um, colorful plants, birds, and unique animals like toucan and sloth. That is the end of part one. Now we will continue with part two. For part two, here is a card with some questions. Please do not touch the card. You will have one minute to look at the questions, think about your answers, and then you will have two minutes to speak. I will tell you when to start, when to stop. Your one minute preparation time begins now. Everett, your one minute preparation time is up. Please begin speaking. Um, perhaps the most pressure I have ever felt to this day um, is sitting the Chinese standardized academic proficiency exam known as Gao Kao. Um, I set this exam about two years ago in June. Um, Gao Kao is a national entrance exam every um, Chinese high school graduate take in order to uh, test their skills and knowledge um, for higher level education, as well as their eligibility um, for a certain uh, universities. Uh, this is a nine hours exam, uh, which takes place in two days, um, covering four subjects, and it is feared by most students. In fact, I have been preparing for this exam um, since junior high school. Needless to say, um, I had a lot of pressure and anxiety uh, building up over this year leading to the exam. Not only myself, but also my parents were pushing really hard on me to do well in this exam. Because getting a great score would mean the possibility to enter a prestigious university and as well as um, be on the path for an outstanding career. I had wanted to study electronics engineering in Peking University and this meant I would have to score the top 5 percentile in this exam. In order to manage such insane pressure, I exercise every day uh, one hour um, doing yoga and swimming. I pay attention to both my mind and body. Also, I invested hundreds if not thousands of hours to prepare, study effectively. I kept in my mind that um, if uh, uh, no matter what the outcome is, I have done my best and, and this is all I could ask of myself. During the exam, uh, I tried my best to stay focused, follow the strategy I prepared and, and, take, um, and, and pay attention uh, to my breathing. In the end, uh, I have completed the exam better than I uh, expected, and now I'm pursuing my goal in electronics engineering. That's your time right there. I'm going to stop you. And um, now we'll continue with part three. I'm going to just take back this card. Uh, can you please put the note paper to the side? Thank you. And I will ask you a couple questions about your response to part two and then some more questions uh, related to the topic of part two. 
How did your parents react when they learned that you got a good score? Oh, they were ecstatic.、Um, like my mom, she couldn't stop smiling the whole day, and my dad just kept hugging me and told me how proud he was. What was the most challenging part of the test? I think the mathematical questions were kind of tough.、Um, I remember there were a couple of them、um, that I couldn't manage to solve it. Let's talk about challenging moments in life. What are some typical situations when individuals feel a lot of pressure?、Um, aside from、uh, the situation like this else exam. Um, or the Gaokao, as I mentioned earlier,、um, people also feel a lot of anxiety、um, performing in front of a crowd, like public speaking, as well as peer pressure、uh, when friends are challenging them to take risk, like when my friends challenge me to go bungee jumping with them. What are good ways to cope with this kind of stress?、Um, As I mentioned in the previous part,、um, being strong in body and mind,、uh, as well as staying focused at the task、uh, in hand, are good ways to cope. If people run away from difficult situations in life, what may be the consequences?、Mm, there are some dire repercussions to avoiding challenging situation in life. Uh, one may lack of、um, a, uh, achievement,、um, and then、uh, that could lead to self-loathing.、Um, I think life is full of challenges, and people must take risk、uh, in order to gain rewards. How can people prepare themselves for challenging parts of life?、Um, I think individuals、uh, must be、uh, prepared for demanding times in life. Um, by assessing the situation,、um, making plans, as well as alternative plans in order to stay dynamic. Can you elaborate? Yes, absolutely.、Um, when I made my plan、uh, for Gao Kao,、um, I was prepared that、um, if I couldn't get the results to enter Peking University, alternatively, I would go to a different university abroad. Let's talk about managing stress. Why is it important to manage stress? It's absolutely necessary to handle the anxiety under a certain level、um, because、uh, it is really damaging、uh, body and mind.、Um, it is commonly said that、um, stress is the number one killer for humans. It could lead to heart attack and all kinds of psychological disorders. What are some effective ways of handling stressful situations?、Uh, I think meditation、uh, or breathing techniques like Tai Chi, as well as regular exercise, are good ways to handle stress. How has life become more stressful now compared to a generation ago? I think all the excessive information、uh, that is bombarding people、um, from social media and the internet. Is making our life more nerve-wracking than ever. I mean, these days,、um, people have to、um, care about their image,、uh, not just in real life, but also in the cloud. On the other hand,、um, global competitions has increased compared to a generation ago、um, for both learning and jobs. What can people do to manage these new pressures? Mm, I think people must uh, um, find out、uh, what they are good at and passionate about, and in order to stay focused and be successful. Also,、um, people should、uh, try care less of what others say in the virtual realm. That's the end of、uh, part three. That concludes the speaking portion of the exam. You will have your mark in about ten days' time, Everett.、Uh, please do remember your identification and have a great rest of your day. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Thank you. So let me explain to you why Everett or Wang Yang gets this perfect band nine, and let me give you some more tips and tricks on what to do when you have these annoying face masks and these dividers between you and the examiner.
Well, first of all, Wang Yang does a brilliant job of answering all of the questions exactly using the grammar of the questions, giving clear explanations, and often including examples. He's confident, professional, and well expressed throughout the interview. He uses a broad range of vocabulary and stays fluent. Even though he makes a couple of slight mistakes, he's really good at self-correcting. This is something that native speakers also do. In addition, he uses many different kinds of grammar to reflect the questions. When they're present perfect, he answers using present perfect. When they're conditionals, he uses conditionals. His part two long answer is well structured with lots of detail and no repetition. Now, here are some tips on what to do so you can perform similarly wearing a face mask. A very important strategy when you're wearing a face mask is to make sure that you put on your face mask at least an hour to two hours before your speaking interview even if you don't have to. Some of you may be driving to the exam. If so, make sure that you have your mask on while you're driving in the car. The reason for this is that you need to allow yourself to get comfortable wearing the mask. And this will take at least about 30 minutes to an hour to achieve. It's just like climbing up a mountain where the air becomes a bit thinner it becomes more difficult to breathe. But that's only momentary. Once you spend a bit of time there, your lungs adjust and breathe easily. You need to do the same with a mask. Wear your mask early and let your breathing and your lungs adjust to the mask. This can definitely save you anxiety and difficulty during the speaking. Also, make sure to wear a comfortable face mask that allows you to speak clearly and doesn't move up and down your face while communicating. Be sure to use the same mask that you intend to have on during the interview to practice with before the interview, at least four to five times with speaking partners. This will give you more confidence and comfort. All right, now let me give you some tips on what to pay attention to if you have this annoying transparent shield between you and the examiner. The shield, also called a sneeze guard, provides a barrier for the virus between you and the examiner. It also provides a barrier for communication. So you have to get past this. Here are some important points to keep in mind. Firstly, project your voice. Enunciate more than usual. Say about 10%. Wang Yang does a very good job of this. Notice how he really emphasizes the pronunciation of his words for clarity. In addition, don't fixate on the shield. Look past the shield, look at the examiner's face, and make eye contact. Third, Keep your hands above the table. You have a mask on, you have a shield in front of you. You need more information. Let your hands help you with this. Body language is an excellent means of adding information to your words. It will also help you to express yourself with more emphasis. Keep these tips in mind and you too can master the speaking interview and get a high band score like Wang Young. Good luck the next time you sit your IELTS exam. For many more useful video lessons like this one, as well as original practice exams and a fully interactive course with strategies and tips to get those high band scores, visit and join our premium package, aehelp.com. Don't wait, it's a one-time payment for lifetime access. Begin studying for success today. Subscribe to our channel. Click over here. Watch another video. Click right up here. And click our IELTS Hero to join our premium package and get access to all of our videos 
practice exams, and a fully interactive course.